Traxo is a data aggregation service for the travel industry. We work with suppliers, corporate travel managers, corporations, and also a big broad ecosystem in the travel industry. Because it is so fragmented, the need for real-time data aggregation and itinerary management is ever more evident. And all of those, uh, all of those players in, in the travel ecosystem uh, have a need for, for real-time data. It's very accurate and, and timely. We're a multi-region, multi uh, multi-zone AWS deployment. Fairly typical. Um, we tend to run a number of uh, similar hosts uh, uh, managed by a cluster scheduler called Nomad from HashiCorp. Um, we also run a number of different tools from HashiCorp, uh, including uh, the Vault for secrets management uh, and Console for service discovery and uh, configuration. In that cluster, we run a number of different containerized workloads, um, primarily containerized workloads on Docker. Most of our services are uh, microservice, multi-tier, and what we're monitoring is, is everything from the host to the container to the application uh, and also ingress and egress through the through the various load balancers. First, it was a was a internal StatsD daemon and Graphite. So really popular at the time, five or six years ago now. Uh, that was great, it worked great. Uh, a little hard to manage and then uh, as more uh, SaaS based solutions started to appear, we naturally wanted to gravitate towards those. So we quickly found Librato, which was, which was really great. Uh, it supported StatsD, it was hosted outside our data center so we could access it even if we were down, we could at least see what the last uh, bits of data were. The original stats, the tagging system, kind of break down the more, the more you try to capture, uh, the more um, segments of a, of a particular metric you try to capture. Uh, and it also made it really hard to write good uh, aggregates and also see on a, on a dashboard uh, what is your U.S. doing right now? What is what is Europe doing right now? Um, segment by host, that kind of thing. The in incorporation of Librato into uh, the bigger AppOptics uh, ecosystem was was really easy. So um, we looked at a number of different tools, uh, both above and below uh, price point, and also some self-hosted -host uh, solutions. Again, just to just to double check that we weren't missing anything that we wanted to run ourselves. The conversion was was going to be minimal, so just point to a new host and and. Uh, take it, start taking advantage of the, the tag metrics. We also got the added benefit of the APM ecosystem. And since rolling that out, we feel like we've got uh, quite a bit better visibility into the application performance as well as the lower level host performance uh, that's going on in the system. There's a couple of different use cases. So there is uh, proactive monitoring. So hosts are up, you know, how much capacity is being used in a cluster? Um, what are the applications doing? Um, our individual aspects of the business, KPIs, what are those? Everybody in the team's aware. Support for deployments and rollouts, so engineers can monitor a set of metrics that they expect to stay the same, expect to change, uh, and uh, as those deployments finish in various regions, they can uh, cross-check that with what they're expecting to see. The alerting is incredibly powerful. We have uh, alerts pushed out through Slack, through PagerDuty, click and configure, and everybody was up and running. Folks can see if the app is misbehaving. Uh, is it a particular host? Is it a, picture, you know, a section of hosts maybe in an availability zone that's having problems? We do have a, a, a correlation ID that traces all the way in from the, from the edge uh, service into uh, one or many uh, backend services. So tracing is incredibly important and that's really a new uh, capability for our team. And we found a, a number of different uh, hotspots that way. So uh, including third-party services that we rely on that. Um, we're able to tell them when they're slow or having problems. For any 24 hour, seven day a week business, being able to know when things are going wrong is, is really critical. We like to know when things are going right and, and uh, that's great. Uh, but when things are going wrong, um, we, you know, we expect to be woken up or uh, alerted in some way. Uh, and that was something we knew we weren't gonna build. So uh, the solution we picked uh, with App Optics definitely had that uh, and again had all the integrations for uh, pushing data to the places we wanted to see it, uh, and that was those were really well done. We had uh, all the visibility we needed. Uh, we could get a hold of the folks any time of day, and uh, and resolve those issues uh, as fast as possible, uh, and able to do a, a better job of supporting our customers uh, in real time.